Hello! Welcome back to Vintage Story. Hey, 40 episodes. That's a big deal, right? I never thought I would uh, get up to 40. That's kind of crazy to me. Uh, I, I feel like I am I'm expecting like the series to go on to 50 at this point before maybe shaking things up. It's not like it's a popular series or anything, so there's not really much reason for me to change anything. I can just work on it until I'm bored, but you know, uh, I definitely eventually want to try something different with this the series, so we'll see. Um, might even do like a charity stream or something, that'd be kind of fun. But anyway, we're doing some uh, fairly industrious stuff today. We're uh, actually building the second windmill. Uh, this is something I wanted to add for a while. And what I've done here is you can see I'm, I'm going to have it facing the other direction. And I've had, I have another angled gear on the other side of the gear. So the idea is that one windmill is faced one way, turning the gears. And then uh, the, either the other one is faced the other way. And it's also kind of assisting. And I think this would work in real life. I have no right reason to believe that it wouldn't. Uh, it seems to me that just like more wind power, more torque would, uh, you know, help assist, uh, you know, create more torque really more energy put more more torque energy into the same gear and it would turn faster or at least it would turn with more torque right um because it doesn't it, speed is going to be relative to how what kind of gears you're using and like you know how much power you have uh turning uh, you know how much force but anyway i i'm not an engineer i don't understand these things and i don't want to really <laughs> Uh, I, I'd prefer to put my energy in other things like D and D campaigns, or I don't know, uh, forty episode long series of me playing some kind of Minecraft. Like, but anyway, uh, I didn't want to build a second windmill without it feeling at least like having some kind of architectural design. So hence why I've gone ahead and try to I like you know I I feel like the the king of architecture is triangles um, you want to have triangles and that helps distribute some weight load I, I'm not a architect either uh, so you'll have to forgive me if it doesn't look very good or uh, logical but you know I've tried my best the only thing uh, having like gone over the footage here that I didn't like and I might change in the future is how I eventually do the roofing, uh, which you'll see later. But uh, you know, I have I have a I, I, I might I think I'll I will change it eventually. We'll see we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm just setting up the how the tower is connected to the rest of the roof. Uh, I believe as I was uh, doing this, I, I was kind of reiterating a story I heard when I was I was traveling in Europe for a little bit, and there was this story about the tallest church and it was like the tallest freestanding structure in the world for a long time and then uh something else was built that was taller and in order for the town to like maintain their one tourist attraction they i don't know the mayor at the time this is like very uh incorrect but anyway the mayor at the time was like uh just build a tower on top and make it taller and uh the the you know the guy in charge of that who was actually not a terrible architect was like well you know you're you can only going to be able to go so tall before the whole roof caves in and he's like well do it anyway so you can go and check out this church and i believe some of it had to be removed because it, it the, the roof caved in anyway but you can like see this like chopped off tower on top of a church and the roof is like sagging in uh, around it which is, is kind of fun uh, I'll see if, uh, I'll, well, I'm not going to make promises or write checks I can't cash, but I'm, I'm, you should check it out. I don't know. Google, uh, tower built on a church. I don't know. <laughs> what a, what a good, what a good entertainer I am. Anyway, we're killing more of the local fauna, uh, mostly for the fat so that I can continue building our structure. We are nearing completion on our, uh, you know our major needs when it comes to automation i think that uh amazing that i died here uh i think that um two windmills is uh, the most i'll need i might do a third i don't know how i want to do a third 
uh, maybe you could let me know in the comments, you know, just to appease the great algorithm beast. Uh, well, you know, like, what would you do? How would you add a third windmill? Is it too much? I, I like two windmills because it adds a little bit of uh, symmetry and the way I, I'm going to I'm gonna make the second windmill you'll see uh, taller it, it I, I like that kind of asymmetry also um, but uh, you know there's options I could I could do something I just don't know what yet but anyway we're, we're killing a, a lot of creatures today and getting that fat uh, and I'm not sure what it was I wanted to make next uh, but I think it's just like I need to like check a few more boxes I do want to make another transmission and clutch uh, Which is kind of overkill uh, most people that watch this are gonna be like why do you need that? Well, uh, I want it for the Kern you see because uh, like I have I, I have the uh, the, the Helve hammer uh, Set up on a transmission and clutch which is good but I also want the Kern on a transmission and clutch so I can control when I give it power uh, and when I can also save some power. I understand that you can just break the the um, the axle connecting the Kern to the power. I, I understand that but I don't want to do that. I think that that is weird and hacky and uh, also I'm lazy and I'd rather just like right click a switch rather than uh, have to like break this thing every time so I don't really want to do that so here's the sort of base skeleton of our second windmill and there is our uh, windmill blades thrown on the side there <clears throat> and you can see it looks pretty good my friend has been referring to this structure as the pinwheel which is uh, a fairly mocking of my uh, you know achievement which uh, you know is of course required required uh, mockery of my milestones but uh, hey there, there it is it looks pretty okay right now hoping to make it look better of course with some roofing you know like i put remember like i put like several hours into baking making and baking roof tiles so i am gonna make use of those i don't think there's too many more structures that i'm gonna need i think probably the next major structure that will require roofing is gonna be um, I won't call it a barn, but I will call it some kind of stable for the animals um, when winter comes around. I should probably get working on that now, actually, now that I've, uh, spoiler alert, but I've got one more episode pending after this that uh, I, I have completed my goals regarding this windmill and also um, automated smithing. But <clears throat> here's, here's the uh, roof. I didn't uh, you, you may notice I, I kind of cut short the skirt uh, in front of the blades so you know the blades are almost flush with the tower I don't know if it looks good I don't know if that's a good way of doing it but I kind of don't hate it so I'll keep it like that uh, maybe a better way would be to have a axle that extends the blades outwards a little bit but I think that that would be weirder and I think that uh, having like just a, a weird extension like that uh, sort of implies that that torque is just kind of twisting on a long extension and you know like I, I feel like in real life that thing would just break over a matter of a couple of months um, so uh, better to have the blades closer to your um, kind of corner piece your your angled gears and also to the structure so the structure is bearing the uh, the torque more so than just a, like a flimsy axle so anyway I like, as I say, to uh, apply some kind of logic to these things, even if my logic isn't necessarily uh, very sound. But if it makes sense in my head, then I think it looks better in reality. Uh, but hey, we're I'm making use of that automated kern. I've, I'm grinding salt pretty much whenever I can. Anytime I, I think about it and I check that uh, it has completed my last kind of uh, set task of grinding salt or bone or uh, even borax I will shove some salt into it just to keep it busy uh, and I'm careful to only shove 32 into it because right now at least uh, the kern won't uh, I, I, I don't have like actual automated kerning set up so that it can auto deposit into chests and stuff that is a very very future endeavor and it's not really something I care too much about to, to really do um, I love this rot on the 
the shelf. Those were uh, loaves of bread that I was going to bake and then never did. But the, they, it just looked like little weird creatures on the shelf. It was, it was odd uh, spotting them. You've probably been able to spot them in the last episode if you had a keen eye. Uh, but hey, we're throwing some more preserves in our deep storage and uh, those are those are good for a couple of years by the way I'm working really hard on preservation of food um, you know we're making wine I want to fill up that uh, barrel of honey so that we have uh, potentially we have mead in the future but also honestly I think honey is probably be more useful in it like as a as honey like I don't I don't think we need alcohol I mean no one needs alcohol you know quotation marks but uh, you know what I mean. Um, but like, I, I want to uh, keep honey because you can make porridge and stuff with it. You can make preserves and stuff like that. Uh, the honey is, is quite good. So, but uh, I wanted to finish this job. This has been pending for a long, long time, but I, had, I wanted to have a road leading around the base and I finally do and it looks pretty good. Base is finally starting to feel, I think, like a home. You know, like I've got, functionality in major parts of it. I think I want to put a road like I, I want to turn this like little animal pen here into a actual shelter like extend that roof over it and turn it into an actual structure. I did this mostly for the thumbnail but I think it looks well it doesn't look good I won't say because the windmill really does look kind of pit pitiable. Uh, my friend informed me that this is in fact the proper way to stack wood. So we we did it. We did it Reddit. There it is. There you go. That's how you actually stack wood. Uh, in case you're curious, I I didn't realize that there there are whole wood stacking communities and competitions. Even people get competitive about stacking wood, and uh, uh, they optimize it. In fact, that's all a lie. I I, I lied to you just now. Uh, but hey, we're making, I, I believe this is a health hammer, and it's the closest thing to not having a smith ever. Like, it really is two bars on top of each other, and then you trim a little bit off. That The health hammer is just a big slab of metal, and uh, we, we have a health hammer, and there it is. Check it out. I think it looks great. Look at it go. Bonk. Bonk. It's not very fast right now. But um, that is very dependent on how uh, fast the wind is blowing. We're doing our leather tanning. Uh, as I say, I, I really kind of just do this for busy work. And also because like I've set this whole thing up, I want to make use of it. So, um, but uh, you know, it, it just feels like something I should be doing. Even though we're probably going to be moving on to uh, metal armor at some point soon. But who can say? Anyway, uh, that's this episode done. 40 episodes. Thanks very much. Can I get a can I get a hoorah in chat in comments? Thanks very much for for supporting the series for as long as you have. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe hit the like button. Maybe hit the subscribe button if you are so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.